Buju, Kinamage in the Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to this math tier two intervention. Today's episode, reteach 5.3. Begin this lesson with a reminder that it is ideal if you're joining us in the in-person sessions. These videos are intended to provide a review if you need it or if you miss class for whatever reason. It does not produce as quality of a response as if you were in working with students and peers and your teacher and making meaning together. After today's video, in the new week, you will be expected to fill out a Google form. At this point, you still send these papers back at the next paper submission. Or you may take a picture of said paper and email it to me at mirland at sagchipschool.net. For this video, you will need the lesson three reteach. So if you don't have that, you should pause the video and then go get it and then come back and hit play. If you're still here, we're assuming that you grabbed the paper and are already back. So let's look at our previous sessions work. And in each one of these, we were rounding to the nearest whole number and we did these two together. We look, we have a four, that five makes it go up to five. The seven makes that one go to two. And you subtract and you got five minus two is three. And if 32 and 42 for 74, 15 and 8 for 23, 47 minus 12 for 35. Notice that we had differing, a different number of digits. This one only went to the tenths. This one to, went to the hundredths. It didn't matter for what we were doing today. If this was actually adding or subtracting these, I would have added due to a next of zero there to make sure you have the same number of digits. On the bottom part, we rounded the nearest 10, which is the second digit over. So we have 20 plus 30 is 50. 50 minus 10 is 40. 40 plus 90 is $130. 60 minus 30 is 30. 30 minus 20 is 10. 30 plus 70 is 100. 60 plus 50 is 110. 40 plus 20 is 60. Hopefully those went well for you. And if you're still stuck or have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me during office hours or send me a message during class. So let's look at today's work. Today's work is a conversation on knowing when to estimate or find an exact answer. The steps on these problems are the same as every other problem solving investigation. We understand, we make a plan, we solve it, we check it, and then we do some problems with those. Um, so we have a sample problem here. The Selden School buys 58 boxes, 28 boxes of pencils. Each box holds 32 pencils. About how many pencils does the school buy? This word right here, about, is a huge clue. And that is a clue that tells me that we don't need an exact answer. We can go ahead and estimate. So what do we know in these problems? We know how many, the number of boxes the school buys, the number of pencils in each box, and we want to find out about how many pencils the school buys. Our strategy will be to estimate. So I'm going to suggest that we round this to 30 and this to 30 as well. You multiply three times three is nine. There are two zeros here, you get 900 pencils. This provides problems that are a lot easier to solve than, or at least mentally, than the original numbers. So let's do one here. Caleb earns $9 each hour. He works 24 hours in a week. How much money does he earn? Notice it does not say about. So I'm gonna need to go ahead and multiply 24 times nine. Let's grab our tool here. You could do this either ahead of me and by pausing the video and see if you get the same answer. 
or you can do it along with. So I have 24 times nine, nine times four is 36. Put a six, I regroup the three. Nine times two is 18 plus three is 21. For if you're a parent trying to help your student where we talk about regrouping, we used to call this carrying. So how much does he earn that week? Start with a dollar sign, $216. It's a lot of V-Bucks there, my friends. All right, let's do one more together. Theater has 36 rows. Each row has 24 seats. About how many seats does the theater have? So we have about. We know that there are is 36 rows and each row has 24 seats. So I'm going to multiply, but first I'm going to estimate. So 36, I'm going to go ahead and make a 40 by rounding the nearest 10. 24, I'm going to round the nearest 10, which is a 20. Now I could do the standard algorithm here. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times four is zero. Is zero. 2 times 4 zero, 0, 2 times 4 is 8. Or I can just go ahead and say 4 times 2 is 8. And there are two zeros. 800 seats. If you need more time to write this in, please feel free to pause the video and then hit play when you're ready. All right, going forward, I want you to do these last few problems today. When you are done, you may send it at the next paper exchange or take a picture of it and send it to me at mireland at sagchipschool.net. Hope you all have a minogizhi god. Amo pee.